How's it going everybody? This is the first multi-hole market moves video that I've done. Um, I've talked about with a number of people most recently at Legrand Mont Boat Show about doing like an easily recreated just quick market update video on a weekly basis letting you all know what's going on. And so this is kind of my first attempt at that. I'd love to get feedback from you all on what you like about this format what you don't like about the format and how I can improve. But the idea is I want to create a system that's pretty simple, straightforward, where I can push out content on like a weekly or maybe every six to 10 days, just keeping you guys in the loop with what's happening in the catamaran market. So the first section of this is always going to be new listings coming to market. Now, in the last seven days, there were 53 catamarans that come to came to market. Now, we're not going to talk about all 53 of those boats because that would be incredibly long and incredibly boring, not just for you, also for me. So there are two of those 53 boats that I do think are worth taking a look at. And uh, the first one, there we go. I've got the picture in picture working proper. Don't you love when technology is your friend? is a 2016 Leopard 48. The boat is up in um, St. Augustine, Florida right now. Um, you know, really well equipped boat with bow sprit, solar, water maker. Um, you know, it's got the uh, light ash interior. All in all, a really well equipped boat and uh, priced, appropriately, priced appropriately in this market. Now with all the boats we talk about here today, I will have a link in the description down below that will take you to the full spec sheet for the boat. The second boat that's on market that we want to talk about today is a 2021 Naughty Tech Open 46. Now, I've always been a fan of the Naughty Tech Open 46. I mean, Mark Lombard's always been one of my favorite designers. I mean, he designed all the privileges as well as a bunch of other really, really beautiful, cool boats. Like the Seacat 37 is another, another great Great design that I've had a lot of fun sailing on. Uh, but anyways, this Naughty Tech Open 46 is set up for blue water sailing. It's got solar. It's got lithium. It's got a generator, um, good sales pa sail package, etc., etc. All in all, a really, really well-equipped boat. Now, the third section of these video, the second section after new listings is always going to be on price reductions. So this week, there were 55 price reductions or changes in price, I should say, um, in the catamaran market over the last week. Of those 55, there's only one that I find really interesting, and that's a 2020 Lagoon 450 Fly. Yes, the bulkheads have already been inspected. Anyways, back to this particular boat. It was asking $7.99, which I thought was a little bit particular boat in my opinion. Uh, they just dropped it to $7.79 yesterday. All in all, an extremely well-equipped boat, owner's version, additional cold storage, um, I mean, a ton of uh, solar as well as lithium on board the boat. The owners just sailed it across the Atlantic into the Caribbean. She's here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, ready for her new owners to take off and go cruising. Okay, I think I kind of screwed things up on the cue card here, so I'm going to have to fix that and, and hopefully we'll get that right for the next video. But the third section we're going to do in these videos is boats that have sold or been reported sales in the last week. Now, in the past week, there were 11 reported catamaran sales. And the one that I think is most interesting to talk about is Lucky Me, which was a 2007 Lagoon 500. She was asking um, $4.95. Ended up selling for 437. I was familiar with this boat from when she was running crude yacht charter down in the Caribbean. I had been on her at one of the charter boat shows, I think. All in all, though, pretty nice boat, um, well equipped, a lot of options, and I think 437. Unless something came up in survey that was that was pretty dramatic or drastic, I think 437 was a good price for this boat. <laughs> So the final section of this video series that we're going to do is a Q&A. So I'm going to start answering questions that are left in the comments down below, as well as questions I get in the email. I just think it'd be a fun way to kind of engage more with you all as the viewers on, um, you know, kind of just catamaran related stuff or things I'm interested. I mean, I love sailing, obviously. I love catamarans, but 
What are my other hobbies? I don't know, but a great way to find out is the question and answer section at the end of the video. So there you go. That's kind of the concept for my multi all market move series. Um, like I said, it's um, being designed or implemented in a way to be e easily recreated so I can make these videos so I can push out more good, informative, and quality content to you. So if you've got any comments or feedback, please leave them in the description down below. If you have any comments, please leave them in the description down below. Um, I'm looking forward to making these videos, so your feedback is going to be very, very important. I'm also going to have links to all of the boats we discussed in the description down below. So be sure to check those out for pricing, options, engine hours, etc., etc. And drop me a note if you have any questions on those boats. And as always, if you like this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.